can I say, as a Bleach fan, I absolutely loved this chapter of Bleach. I'm not even going to lie. I don't get excited for Bleach chapters like that that often. But this chapter, it was funny as fuck. And it was a very good chapter in its own way. Because the way it handled the comedy and stuff like that, it was just like, yo... Bleach, what, why are you getting so fucking hype all of a sudden? Because, yo, the Weechi, Urahara, I definitely think one of the big strong suits and one of the strong points that made this chapter what it was, was having two of the fucking best characters in Bleach together at the same time. Urahara, one of my favorites and one of the most interesting characters. And then you got Yoda Weechi combined, like, both of them, like, oh my gosh, comedy, gold, epic, gold, everything about it was fucking gold. So yes, people, we've got to discuss something. What, what the fuck was going on in this chapter? I gotta lie, like, was cool were reading a little bit too much fairy tale because dude was kind of uh on that erotic side with this one i mean come on like really what did he shove in yodoichi's ass to make her get those powers it was really kind of like awkward but the way the comedy was done was very funny it was very smooth it wasn't just like one of those trying to be funny but it wasn't or it wasn't forceful like here look at look at these pair of tits it was just very nicely done the comedy with Udahara, and it all had a point even though it was like yo Udahara was just trying to get a little squeeze in there but still it was just like it, it was just done very very well and then we get the mention of the five war potentials basically the five strongest on the good guy side so to speak we have Ichigo Kurosaki which he hasn't really shown that he hasn't displayed that strength that they're talking about but I assume he does have it because he did go to the soul palace so we got him we have Ichibe I mean he did get fucked in the you know big ass fight or whatever but he did show that he was very strong when he fought Bach so Ichibe from the zero division all right you know definitely I see that Zaraki I was real happy that Zaraki got mentioned because I love Zorak, and it's just like, oh yeah, well, he, he's very fucking strong, like, point blank, like, that was very hype, so you have them, and you have Udahara, because of his mysterious ways, nobody can really pinpoint exactly what it is, but it's Udahara, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that he's on there as well, and of course, the legendary fucking Aizen, which I still don't necessarily say he's on the good guy's side, I mean, he can make his own fucking war in it of itself, so, yeah, but, I mean, the five war potentials mentioned in this chapter is, like, hype-ass shit, we also have to mention that Yushiro is on Death's door, so, this fight does need to go quickly, which, I mean, Yoruichi only has a five-minute power-up anyway, so, it needs to end quickly, because if not, her little brother's gonna die, but, that was kind of mentioned in there as well, to kind of show that, yeah, this fight has to go fast, because he's gonna die she's gonna run out of power and yeah which in a weird way i'm kind of sort of maybe possibly hoping that yoruichi runs out of time and can't do it only because not because i want her to like lose and shit like that because i'm a huge fan of hers but only because then incoming would be Urahara possibly and we could actually see him really throw down because this is one of the elites right there asking Lavar, whatever the fuck his name is like we could actually have a crazy serious fight from Urahara if Yoruichi fails which I don't really think she's gonna fail and the way Kubo kind of broke it up from being the stereotypical 1v1 like actually having Urahara come in and kind of throwing a little comedy in there it really lightened it up even though it's still a very serious moment and again it was just handled very fucking nicely and based on what we've seen whatever it was that Urahara shoved in Yoroichi's ass, which I, I can't get over that. That's fucking hilarious. Like, he shoved some shit in her ass that gave her a fucking immunity and power up, which allowed her to get up again after getting fucked up by ass. And it's like, yo. It, it's priceless. The Flash God Super Transformation. Now, I'm kind of curious because based on the words she said, this is not something that she would willingly do because of the look of it. It's undignified. She doesn't really like it or whatever the case may be. So, I'm guessing it's kind of one of those deals where it's like, if her back's against the rope, she'll use it. And maybe it's because Udahara has to peel that sticker off for her to do it as well. Maybe she just really doesn't like it because it's something that apparently she could do before and she's done before, but she don't really ever do. And I really hope we get to see Yoruichi Zanpakuto and all that other good shit. Like, there's so many possibilities right now again i absolutely love this chapter i thought it was a very very good chapter in every shape or form like you brought in some really awesome characters you mentioned some really awesome characters and you had some really awesome transformation like kubo keep more of this up please like i really felt like my inner bleach fan come out with this chapter do more of this even though yeah people are yo it's etchy this and that whatever but it wasn't that exact etchy elements that it was you know driving it it was the comedy behind it it was the characters it was kind of incorporating it in a funny way 
into the plot and making things like really cool and shit and i really appreciated that so very good chapter bleach this week almost to a great i want to say anywhere from an 8.5 to a 9 maybe a 9 is getting a little extreme but it definitely gets that 8.5 very good stuff kubo keep this up let me know what you guys thought of this chapter though what do you think it was that he shoved in her ass <laughs> and how did you feel about that transformation she had at the end do you think she's going to be enough to stop asking or is she going to lose and you know Urahara's going to have to jump in there hey overall thoughts of the chapter but thanks for watching if you enjoyed anything about this video make sure to drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and stalk my facebook if you want more from me when the video ends i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day